All right, this is Chuck. As you can see, we got our same setup as before. We got the static generator right here. That's all. It's only one wire running down here, putting off static. Okay, now move this over a little bit to get it more lined up. So once again, we're going to do our bottom plate. Now we're going to show you the next major breakthrough here. Since we've already, we just went through the magnetic putting a magnetic and electric force together and combining them into the Lorentz force which is flows in a uh, vortex but it's a donut shaped vortex or, or, you know depending on the shape of your uh, electrodes and I will put the magnetic force back on there alright now what we're going to do is this is has some magnetic properties too and this is the bottom of our spaceship right since we've actually now I got the Lorentz force thing working a lot better. We set that back on there, and that's our bottom electrode. Now we will put our test. What this tobacco allows us to do, it's it's just like using iron filings to look at uh, the magnetic field around a magnet. We would put a piece of paper over it. But now we're looking at magnetic fields and electric fields and the Lorentz force field, whatever it is, moving. It's moving. They're all combining. Okay, now, what do I do with the electrode there? Well, here's a smaller one. You, as you can see, the uh, activity has increased a lot more. Even just putting a small one in here, right? It's not really the proper shape or anything. And we can put this ring in here. Yeah. Ow! As you can see, the uh, electrical output of me getting shocked has increased a whole lot. So this thing will be inside of our UFO. We'll put the top on it. And then the engine drive will be in here. There will be multi rings making the vortex inside of there. But as you can see, there's only one wire. Well, as you can see, I keep getting shocked too. Here, watch this. As you can see, the electrical output has increased a lot for us shaping it right. You know, like even that's why I tried to tell y'all shapes are very important. That's like the Tesla tower experiment I'm doing. You know, this thing's getting static. It, it, it's the static part. We're mixing the static or what you want to call the electrical force a small amount of it into this machine here and it's getting a whole lot more out and plus we're able to make the uh, rotating uh, Lorenz force field as you can see out so I'm working on it y'all I'm trying to get it hooked up all my people hit me back on this one peace